A wave of despair is engulfing Afghanistan reflected to a grim statistic. At least 55 suicides reported in just three months. This alarming data published by hashd e subh daily paints a devastating picture of life under the Taliban rule. The victims ranging from children as young as 8 to middle-aged adults hail from 21 provinces across the country. More details in this report. The report sheds light on the root causes of this desperate act. The Taliban's oppressive policies, particularly towards women, are cited as a major factor. Young girls are forced into marriages, stripped of education and denied basic freedoms. This bleak existence, coupled with domestic violence, pushes many to take their own lives. The report details the tragic case of a young girl in Baghdad's province who ended her life to escape a forced marriage. Economic hardship also plays a significant role. The Taliban takeover has plunged Afghanistan into a financial crisis, leaving many young men unemployed and hopeless. Poverty and hunger are widespread as exemplified by the case of Hazara Tulla in Kosht province who committed suicide in front of a government building after his pleas for help went unanswered. The report underscores the underestimation of the actual numbers. Cultural norms and the fear of retribution under the Taliban likely prevent many cases from being reported. Safia, a women's rights activist in Kabul, highlights the hopelessness, particularly among girls. They are caught between life and death, stripped of all autonomy, she says. This rise in suicides coincides with warnings from international organisations. The UN Women's Afghanistan representative emphasises the dire situation for women, stating that many prefer death over life. The UN Special Reporter on Afghanistan previously reported a rise in depression and suicidal thoughts amongst teenage girls deprived of education. The World Bank adds another layer of concern, predicting a looming recession in Afghanistan. This economic uncertainty exacerbates the existing problems, further fueling anxieties about the future.